Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, cars, going to talk about cars for a moment. That thing is crazy. That got announced. The Tesla Model S can go from 0 to 60, 100 kilometers per hour in like 1.96, I think they've been able to do it. Uh, by all accounts, when you drive in this, like you basically need a helmet. If you do not have your head like attached to the headrest, the car will effectively punch you really hard in the back of the head. It's actually people who talk about like Tesla's on performance mode, like ludicrous mode, um, accelerating. It, it's not like a fun acceleration. It's like actually being catapulted, like <laughs> from a catapult. It's actually physically painful and jarring. And I suspect that someone's going to get knocked out from the jolt from accelerating in these. Do I want to drive one? Hell yes. I mean, this is like faster than a Bugatti. Like this is faster than a $5 million car and you can buy it for a hundred thousand. Um, you know, the, the, I, I'm sure these are going to pop up in rentals and stuff like that. Hell yeah. I want to drive one of these. It is funny how for all of my life, the idea that you always measure the, the latest hypercar by what their zero to a hundred time is. And you know, they got from, you know, for five seconds to three seconds to, you know, these crazy cars that could get under three seconds in the last few years. 1.9 seconds it's almost okay let's just stop now like it, it, it's honestly getting silly at the point that it's 1.9 seconds those are cool electric cars are just making honestly gasoline cars look ridiculous and nissan got the memo the gtr one of the greatest cars ever made they're, they're not making it anymore and i must admit i suppose it's and on, the, on one hand it's sad on the other hand you know again performance cars are totally being redefined by electrics and not just by the performance but also look at the shape of the car it's got that big bump on the front of the car that of course is what we how we define cars that's where the engine goes but with electric cars you put the, the motors right on the wheels and the battery components can be put anywhere. They can be put in the pillars, they can be put in the doors. So essentially, you don't actually need to design the car around having a massive boot, you know, or a trunk or, a, you know, um, an engine bay anymore. So you can actually, and I must admit, you know, like, probably makes sense. And when you start, when you add to that, the upcoming cars are going to be self-driving and whatnot. You know, yeah, I, I think it's actually really exciting to consider we're getting rid of sedans because that shape is not necessary anymore, right? The same way that use, people use SUVs because they've got the massive back, but also you don't even need the front anymore. I mean, I think you could just get boxes um, just because it's the most efficient thing. Well, you, 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 I, I think the cars are about to get really, really crazy and cool. And another way that they're going to get really, really cool is that Japan is, the, that is not cool, by the way. But what is cool about that car is that I know about this. This has been happening in Japan for like 20 years now. The government's been funding research into putting coils into roads, which will charge cars while they drive on them. So your EV, basically, and I, I've, I've heard there's, there's Israeli companies and so on that are doing this in Europe right now as well. You have a small battery in your car um, and basically your car will just constantly charge. You won't have to charge it up anywhere. You'll have unlimited range because the main roads and highways and so on will have charging coils under the roads. So basically you'll be able to charge as you go. You won't need as big a battery, which means that the car will have a, will be lighter and have a better, you know, better performance. And um, yeah, Japan's looking seriously at building uh, the sort of infrastructure to allow EVs to charge as they run. The